Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Extension. Today we are looking at the next topic which is 3.3 Techniques in Agile Project and the second segment of it which is 3.3.2 Applying Acceptance Test Driven Development. So let's quickly look into what exactly we are covering in this particular tutorial. We already know from the previous tutorials about test-driven development, behavior-driven development, and acceptance test-driven development. Where here we are precisely talking about because we have the segment about applying acceptance test-driven development. That how exactly it is applied and which is more frequently used in the agile environment. So acceptance test-driven is generally an approach where you define the test first before the development. So not only development, even when the user story is implemented. So as soon as your stories uh, are listed, you start preparing test cases out of it to see that what kind of scenarios can be developed. So we are, here we have some of the steps which will help you to understand that what kind of approach can be used under the acceptance test-driven development. At first, the specification workshop where the user story is analyzed discussed and written by the developers, tester, and business representative together. So it's not just one person's responsibility to prepare the test cases. It is also like put together like all the three members of the team will join together and collaboratively write the test cases and also look for any kind of review factors like incompleteness, ambiguities, errors in the user story at the same point. So we are actually trying to reduce the cost of fixing defect at an early stage. The next step is to create the test. Once you have identified the scenarios, you start writing the physical test cases at the concrete level. This can be done by the team together or the tester alone, where it's, it's, it's also possible the tester can write its own test cases. In any case, if it is done together, or maybe just one person writing the test, an independent person, such as business representative, validates the test. So if the tester is written or if the group is writing, the business representative will cross-check and validate it or approve it. The tests are examples that describe the specific characteristics of the user story. These examples will help the team implement the user story correctly. Typically, the first tests are generally the positive, which we know from the basic foundation course that first of all, we always try with the positive test because it should confirm if the correct behavior is being implemented or not. If the valid tests are not executed or not given a pass status, then there's no point executing the invalid ones. So the same principle is being followed here, and that is, of course, without the exceptions and their conditions. Following that, after the positive path tests are done, the team should write the negative path first test and then cover the non-functional attributes as well following the negative one. So of course, the sequence remains the same like any other approach in testing be it waterfall, V model, this, this, this approach remains the same typical that you start with positive, then you write with negative, and you go with exceptions, then you go with non-functional. The examples must also cover the characteristics of the user story and should not add to the story. So it generally means that all the characteristics which are included as a part of story in terms of scenario, in terms of uh, the inputs or outputs, you must try with the combinations. This means that an example should not exist which describes an aspect of the user story not documented in the story itself. So we aren't talking about anything which is not in the scope. So no assumptions, no out of the scope thinking from here. So whatever is documented as a part of the user story, you're going to consider that into this. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. I hope you would have understood something new about acceptance test driven development in this tutorial. Stay tuned for upcoming tutorial on this series. We will be having a few more topics to go ahead. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding about the context. And thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.